It's on a comeback. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, he's played just a smart game overall offensively, looking for and finding the gaps in the defense and also terrific shot selection. You know, he's getting the ball in a place where he can do something with it, and he hasn't had to force one thing. The game seems like it's coming to him naturally. LeBron and Love, the two superstar forwards. Sharpshooters Irving and J.R. Smith are the backcourt duo, and it's Thompson in at the center. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. The 76ers shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Jumps up, and Embiid throws it down. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. Yeah, flawless fast break. Didn't slow down until the ball hit the bottom of the bucket. Thompson sets the pick for Smith. Down low. It's tipped. Embiid with the steal. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Deflected by Thompson. Oh, the former Longhorn Thompson really elevating for the rejection. Love the energy, guys. You know, a nice flow to that play. Let him right into the attempt with the sharp pass. It has to be crisp, and it has to be on time. I love seeing LeBron James back in wine and gold, guys. I mean, I think he's here where he belongs and isn't going anywhere else. You know, nevertheless, he's kept that player option after every season, something that gives him a lot of control over his future. Simmons passes to McConnell. Down low, he's looking for Embiid and finds him. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers leading by 23. LeBron dishes to Thompson. Right block shot, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly oh. fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And Philadelphia gets called for the foul. Come on, LeBron welcomes contact, so you are really doing him a favor when you send him to the line. Luwawu is checked in for T.J. McConnell. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And LeBron with a huge voice, it seems, in the Cavaliers' decision-making. Everything from roster decisions, Doris, to who's the head coach. Well, there's always a lot of questions about how much power LeBron wields in any organization he plays for. It would be a tricky balance for any head coach because you're in the lead role. Uh, for LeBron, he's a great player, and he wants to put greatness around him. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick time slam out, out. at the other it, end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony Pardon? right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Jefferson's checked in. Here's Covington, covered by Irving, and it's Kevin Love with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Well, from a broadcasting perspective, Doris, just how global has the game of basketball grown with advances in the accessibility of the games being played? You know what I marvel at is how the next generation consumes sports content. Live sports are still uh, what the viewer wants, but you'll see so many people watching on mobile devices, right? Uh, small tablets, phones. It's incredible to me how different our business is, Kevin. News is now not broken in a newspaper story. News is broken on social media. And don't you think, Doris, it's, no, it's no. promoted that way, too, because owners in this league that are very in tune with the tech side of the business. Now, many of them are businessmen and have succeeded because they've been visionaries in their field, and certainly they want to know, how is our content getting to that next generation? Good point. Tough start to the second half, just one for five. Wow. Kicks it to Jefferson. Takes a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Jefferson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Nice shot, squaring up from long range, drilling the three. That'll put some pressure on you. Out to the right wing. Covington passes to Simmons. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. 
And, and Simmons is totally comfortable near the rim, using his body well to get the shot he wants. Got that bucket in in no time at all. 20 points for Kyrie Irving. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. To the wing right side. Sarge has the open look. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Jefferson has a wide-open look. Another three for Cleveland. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And Ben Simmons, the latest star to come over from Australia. Many feel that he could be the player that bolts Australia into a powerhouse on the international level. A lot of hopes being placed in the shoulders of Simmons. Yeah, fellow Australian Andrew Bogut said that Simmons will most likely be the best Australian player ever in just a short time. I mean, his game translates well in international ball, has the frame and playmaking ability to just carry a team. Uh, love, so crafty near the rim, getting his man to get physical with him, uh, just a master of drawing contact. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Shumper comes in for Richard Jefferson. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Smith. And Darren Williams is subbed in for Irving. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Stoskis, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Clearly a foul. For Philadelphia, they have made seven of their last 12 attempts at the line. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Cleveland's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Williams dishes to Fry. Cleveland moving it around. Williams kicks to Fry. That shot misses. And Philadelphia the other way now. For three, Stauskas hits the three-point bomb. Stauskas has got his third basket of the night right there. Boy, you give him that kind of space, he's going to make you pay for it. And Shumper kicks to Fry, and the shot is good. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Henderson against Corver. Holmes kicks to Stauskas, and the call will be against Darren Williams. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The 76ers have made nine free throws in the game, 14 attempts. James checked in for the Cavaliers. The 76ers also with a sub. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Anderson. Shumpert, no good. 76ers have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Here's Henderson. Takes a big height bounce and goes in. Henderson's got four this quarter. The Cavaliers leading by 23. Williams kicks to LeBron. And the dunk by James. Is there anything D. Will can't see and deliver on? Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's McConnell. Now here's Splitter. He dishes it to Stauskas. Jumper off the screen. And, yep, couple bounces, and it falls. Stauskas has got nine points here in the second half. Stolen by Henderson. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cavaliers on top, opening up a huge gap. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Moments make players into stars. Moments make teams legendary. This is my moment. This is my team. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail-biter here, but you never know. 
The Cavaliers leading by 23, so on the floor for Philadelphia. Inside, it's Simmons with Embiid. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's McConnell in at the one spot. Cavaliers shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Irving passes to Corver. Shot clock at five. This one for three. Rebounded by Covington. Covington's got three rebounds now in this one. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Love's checked in for Kyle Korver. The 76ers also with a sub. Sarge has checked in for Nick Stauskas. McConnell kicks to Simmons, and it's good for two. They are just killing them on the interior. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Love with the screen for Irving. Off the pick. And Love throws it down. Yeah, that's what you want from Irving. He's a point guard who is always looking to distribute the rock. The 76ers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Here's McConnell. The dish to Embiid from 12 feet out. And that one comes up a bit short. Cleveland leading by 21. And there's Love. That's good on the assist by LeBron. James has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's McConnell, covered by Irving, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. And that'll be his third foul so far. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Love against Embiid. The stupendous finish in traffic. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. And the Cavaliers getting another bucket right there. Now, guys, you know this. If Kyrie is in rhythm, it doesn't matter how many hands you put in his face. He's still going to drill it. Here's McConnell, covered by Irving. Here's Embiid. A beautiful reverse layup. Uh-oh, a little showboating at the end of that one. Outside Irving. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Covington dishes to Embiid. McConnell kicks to Embiid. His three-pointer is off the mark. Cleveland leading by 21. Smith on the wing. Love outside. He feeds it to Irving. On the wing, James. Six to shoot. And stolen by Simmons. Here's McConnell. Simmons passes to McConnell. If you look at the Cavs' offense, I think there's a lot to like. They can shoot it, they're sure-handed with the basketball, and they're very good at attacking the offensive glass. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line, they needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And Doris, you talk about the offensive rebounding for the Cavaliers with Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love. Uh, you've got your hands full. Oh, Kevin, these are elite players on the offensive glass. And as a defense, it's hard enough containing LeBron and Kyrie. Now you bring help. Their bigs are at the rim cleaning up any misses. What a great recipe for success. And time Philadelphia time calls time here. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go Sorry. now. Hustle up. Yeah, I think this is a good timeout. You try to figure out some defensive strategies to cool this guy off. I mean, you're getting absolutely torched. You tell your guys one possession at a time. Covington kicks to McConnell. 
Now, here's Sarich. He's guarded closely. Here's Embiid, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Embiid's got six here in this quarter. Just such a good shooter from that range. And he had the size advantage, too. Everything working in his favor in that situation. Here's Thompson. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The 76ers trail by 19. Simmons can't cash in from close range. Great possession with an even better shot. Disappointing it doesn't go. James right side. That's in coming off the assist from Thompson. 15 points for LeBron. It has been a three-point barrage for bounds. them since halftime. I mean, unbelievable. Whether they're wide open or defenders draped all over them, 20, they're hitting 20. from distance. Now that's how we play the game. Bring it in. Let's go. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. But now we got to keep it up and stay focused. Fearsome finisher in the league. Stauskas dishes to Anderson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. We've seen the role of positions change so much, Doris. Do you think traditional centers are something that is falling now out of favor? I mean, you think about traditional low post, back-to-the-basket centers. And I'll go back as far as George Mikan, mm -hmm. Bill Russell. Uh, and now you transition to Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon, guys who played with their back-to-the-basket. That certainly seems to be increasingly a rarity. You do have them. DeMarcus Cousins is a guy who can do that, but you can also have a guy who faces up uh, you know, to 25, 30 feet at times. So I think what we're seeing is an evolution to big men who are skilled. And I wonder, Kevin, from your perspective, how much do the Kevin Garnett's and Dirk Nowitzki's, who at power forward spot, sort of change the way the big man overall was looked at? Well, those two players in particular, I thought, had great mentors. They had guys like the Kevin McHale's, people that would take them and work with them on those types of things. The big man shooting outside, to me, becomes just extraordinary. And I think these European kids have kind of led the way in, in that move for the big to stretch and shoot. And, and, and you're just, you're just, your mouth is a gap just watching what they're doing. Yeah, and I've, I've had basketball coaches tell me at every level of the game, college basketball and the NBA, that there's nothing more valuable in the sport than a big man who can be a three-tool mm. player. Dribble, pass, and shoot. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Cavaliers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, th there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A, a clinic was put on display here today. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Kyrie Irving. Well, we're not going to be surprised when he turns in a game like this, but I thought he played especially well and a ton of productivity to go along with it. And you think of the great outside shooting of the Cavs. Doris, how much of that is the brilliance of LeBron James creating those shots for his teammates. Look, you hit the nail on the head, Kevin. LeBron is not only one of the most devastating slashers and finishers, but his passing might be his greatest strength. Pinpoint bullet passes that zip into shooters' hands before the defense can react. And you look at his shooting percentage on his passes sky high. Luwawu is checked in for Anderson. Luwawu, the pass to splitter, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. And this run not really doing them any good at this point as late as it's starting to evolve. Well, they know they've lost this one, but this is still valuable time to try and work out some of their issues. And just a terrific job of taking care of business in front of the home fans. You can feel the love that this crowd has for them. I think the passion of their supporters made a huge difference in tonight's outcome. There's 31 seconds left in the game. Outside for Jefferson. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Terrific run to seal the deal. Yeah, once it got to crunch time, out came that killer instinct. They flat out dominated to put it away.
and the call will be against Darren Williams. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And he makes the first. Both shots good from the stripe. And here's Cleveland. Jefferson with the three. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Wow, what a special, special performance this guy's putting on from long range. He's just been raining threes. That's where the majority of the damage he's doing is, is happening. Got a piece of it. Here's Fry off on the layup. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. They poured it on tonight. Dominic.